100% of that video and the music were created by AI. Actually, for the last year, we've been working on an AI-powered robot to come give this presentation. Unfortunately, the technology wasn't quite ready in time, so you're stuck with me. I apologize for that. We are in the very early phases of a multi-year growth phase, catalyzed and driven by AI. This disruptive technology will eventually transform every aspect of business and society. What an exciting time to be alive. And that's why I'm so excited to be here with all of you, because we sit here at the beginning of the age of intelligence, like prior ages of explosive technology, like the Industrial Revolution, and the internet age, we together have the potential to change the world, to make it a better place, to deliver peace and prosperity for billions of people across the world. So what will you do with AI? Cure disease, end hunger, solve climate change? All of these things are possible within our lifetime. It's up to us. Now, come with me on a journey into the data center. I'm going to share a little bit about how Micron technology is powering AI. And at the core of AI is the data center. And at the heart of the data center is data. And where does data live? Data lives in memory and storage. So let's explore how data is used in a data center. OK. It all starts with the GPU. The GPU is a ravenous beast, insatiable in its hunger for data. And why does it need so much data? To learn. It wants your data, and it needs to be fed at all times. Well, what sits next to the GPU and feeds this hunger is HDM, the fastest memory on the planet. I'm so proud that Micron has already announced production of our HDM 3E 8 high stack and sampling of our HDM 3E 12 high stacks. This incredible technology built on our industry leading one beta node brings 36 gigabytes of memory per stack, over 1.2 terabytes per second per stack. Now in the not too distant future, GPU vendors will be putting eight of these stacks right next to their GPU. Now, how do you deliver so much performance in memory in such a small footprint? Well, we've been able to deliver a 2.5 times improvement in performance per watt. And I'm gonna tell you a secret, what our customers are telling us. That Micron's HDM3E is 30% lower power than our competitors and 10% higher performance. But the HDM it sits at the top of the data pyramid in the data center. And you have to feed data all the way up to the top. So let's take one step down the stack and see how we do that. OK, feeding HDM3 in the server are high-density DDR5 DIMMs. We've launched our 96 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte DIMMs based on, again, our one data technology. This technology enables a 45% increase in bit density. And you might ask, why is that important? Well, it's important because traditionally, people have had to use lower capacity TFB 3DS die on these high capacity RDIMs. But Micron has enabled 24 gigabit and 32 gigabit DDR5 die. And what that means is meaningful improvements in terms of performance and latency. In fact, for AI inference applications, we show that these 128 gigabyte RDIMs provide 17% lower latency. And for data center workloads, we use 24% less power than the traditional TSD 3DS based DDR5 DIMMs. So people will put two or three terabytes into their server and feed the beast of HDM, feeding the beast of the GPU. But sometimes, you need more memory because these LLMs are getting really big 
and people are putting more HDM onto the GPUs and faster GPUs. So what do you do if you need more memory or more bandwidth than what host memory gives you? Okay, take one step down. You go to expansion memory. Micron's recently launched a CV120 CXL module. These are 256 gigabyte standard form factor E3.S 2T form factor drives. You can put them into the front of a server. They're hot pluggable, fully serviceable. A typical implementation might use eight of them to expand main memory by up to two terabytes and add 36 gigabytes per second of bandwidth to the server. Now, our testing shows that in Llama 2 LLM inference performance, if you add these CXL modules to a DDR5 only system, you're going to see 22% better performance. Now, everyone wants to get the most out of their GPU investments. It's the most expensive thing in the data center. It's probably the most expensive thing practically in the world that people are spending money on. And so all of this memory and storage in the stack is critical to maximize your investment. Well, Still in the server, but getting a little bit further away from the GPU is a technology that's really near and dear to my heart because I lead the storage business unit in Micron, and these are our SSDs. What you see is our mainstream 7500 NVMe SSD. It's the only 232 layer data center mainstream SSD in production today. We're also in production with our 232 layer capacity data center SSDs, leading the industry on technology. On the bottom, you can see the 9400 SSD. The 9400 is our performance drive. These drives are critical, but I'll tell you, storage oftentimes doesn't get its due. People think it's a commodity. People think it doesn't impact the performance of the trading system. Let me show you some data. Our, we ran graph neural network benchmarking on recommendation engines. So if you're not familiar with graph neural networking, it's a type of artificial intelligence which is current, commonly used for computer vision or chemistry or other types of biomedical applications. Or what you can see here is in that graph neural network benchmarking, the 9400 SSD was able to deliver 36% higher performance and 27% lower latency than our leading competitors' SSDs. That's not all. We also, also tested graph neural networks for image recognition, segmentation, and generation, and there we saw at the system level, latency was cut in half. That's why the 9400 was ranked number one in the world of all SSDs in the ML Common MLPer Storage Performance Benchmark for AI Simulation. So if you want to make the most out of your investment, I think you know what to do. Now, for the first time ever publicly, I'm taking the lid off of Micron's Gen 5 SSDs. That's right. Later this year, we're going to be releasing our PCIe Gen 5 NVMe SSDs. I already showed you on the last slide that we've introduced the world's fastest Gen 4 SSDs. Well, let me show you a little bit about what we're getting ready to deliver with our Gen 5 drives. Here we tested with an A100 Gen 4 GPU and the 9400 in a graph neural network application. And we also are using something called BAM. BAM is big accelerator memory, and it's a really interesting technology that's still in the lab, hasn't made it to the real world. But what BAM allows is HBM, controlled by the GPU, to cut past all those layers in the pyramid and fetch data directly from the SSD right back up to HBM. When this technology hits, SSD is going to be more relevant than ever. And what we showed with this technology, partnering with leading innovators in the industry, that we're able to cut the performance duration in these critical trading applications in half from Gen 4 platforms to Gen 5 platforms. Now we leave the server and we go onto the network. All right, this is the domain of hard drives, and you heard a lot of the other speakers talk about it already. These Large data lakes are rapidly transitioning from hard drive to SSD. And what you see here are Micron 6500 ion 30 terabyte drives, which have become extremely popular in file and object storage network data lakes for AI applications. And these 
online servers, each to you stores over 600 terabytes of data. And they serve that data to thousands of AI training servers across the network. So this is where big data lives, and you can see the results with our 30 terabyte drive. First of all, it ingests data 48% faster than our leading competitor's 30 terabyte drives. And it ingests 100 terabytes of data four days faster than a hard drive. So you don't want to sit around with your GPUs and your training servers empty while you're loading your new data into your network storage. It just doesn't make sense. So SSDs are really taking off. And what you can see here is you get five to one storage space consolidation when you do that because the SSD is packing that much more density into a rack. So how does this manifest in a data center? Okay, here you can see three typical types of hardware. You see a big training server where you would have like a one-to-one -one ratio between GPU and high-performance SSDs. You also see a more of an edge type server or an inference server where the ratio might be six to one between the GPU and the SSDs. And there we're using our mainstream 7500 SSDs. And then you can see a storage server at the bottom that would feed thousands of these training and inference servers on the network. And what do you see? Well, the amount of memory and storage content that Micron's delivering into these systems is incredible. From the HPM to the main memory DDR5, CXL modules, mainstream SSDs in the inference servers, high performance SSDs in the training servers, and our high capacity SSDs in the data lakes, the amount of content that Micron is delivering to enable AI platforms is incredible. And I'm really proud to be a part of it. But we talked about the data center, and that's interesting. But for many of us, it's kind of an abstract concept. So AI doesn't stop at the data center. It starts there, and it reaches all of us at the edge. So let's talk about those edge devices that really matter to all of you in your everyday life. PCs, phones, and automobiles. Everyone is super excited about the AI PC. It's going to drive a new refresh cycle for PCs we haven't seen since the beginning of COVID. Generative AI is reaching the PC with large language models like Llama 2 and Gemini. These locally running models deliver over 10 billion parameters for offline applications. And CPU vendors like Intel with their Lunar Lake, AMD Strixpoint, and Qualcomm X Elite are introducing 40 plus tops AI platforms in the future. And what do you need to support a 40 plus top PC? You need more memory, more storage, faster memory, and faster storage. That's why I'm so proud that Micron was the first company to introduce the LP Cam 2, bringing our LP DDR5X to PC platforms for lower power consumption, more performance, and more capacity. And we also recently launched our 3500 high performance client SSD, the only high performance client SSD in production using 232 layer NAND today. These models need to be paged into memory rapidly and we need more capacity to store all of the video, images, and content that generative AI is gonna see. Now moving on to a device that's near and dear to all of us. Most people here probably have a closer relationship with your phone than your family. Admit it, right? So move over smartphone, the AI phone is here. Gen AI on the phone is gonna drive incredible amount of sales and growth in memory. In fact, we predict that the amount of DRAM on an AI phone will double versus today's smartphone. And if you look at CounterPoint research, their prediction is the number of AI phones is going to grow from around 40 million in 2023 to over 500 million in 2027. And what do those phones need? They also need more storage like our UFS 4.0, which we've shown delivers 40% faster LLM loading into a phone. That's why Samsung Mobile chose Micron's LP DDR5X and UFS 4.0 for their leading edge flagship Galaxy AI S24 smartphones. 
Now the last edge device where we all spend a lot of time, it's in our cars. Maybe too much time. We've been dreaming about fully autonomous vehicles for years, and the AI revolution is going to make that dream a reality, bringing the capability to the present. Micron is leading the industry in automotive with the broadest portfolio of products, the highest reliability and performance, automotive UFS, automotive LPDDR5X, and is the benchmark for safety with ASLX certification. Over 75 million cars sell every year, and that number is growing. So you want to talk about growth drivers for memory and storage? We believe a fully autonomous L5 car will use 30 times the amount of DRAM that a standard vehicle uses, and 100 times the amount of NAND that a standard vehicle uses. That's a lot of bits. Micron's delivering the technology you need from the data center to the edge, for your phone, PC, and automobile, memory and storage in all shapes and sizes. So when you think AI, think Micron. And join me in using this amazing technology to make the world a better place for all of us and all people around the world. You can find out more at micron.com slash AI. And I just have one favor to ask everyone in the audience next year when the Micron Robot AI gives this speech, please give them as warm a welcome as you did to me today. Thank you very much.